Hello. <laughs> right, let's put this here. Who never wins anything? I don't. Raffles, Tom Bowlers and Fairs, I never ever win anything. And then my mate Rich told me about this company called Apex 66, which is, uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's on Facebook and it's, um, it's two blokes and they got together and they do these, not giveaways, you have to buy these raffle tickets and every Thursday they do a raffle and they've got motorbikes, they've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, Rich, snidey little person that he is, paid I think 25 quid and won a Ducati Scrambler. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So they have a limited amount of tickets and um, you know you, you, you can log on and just buy them and then they draw them. And guess what I won? Look at this! Muck off. Muck off, exactly. <laughs> now, you know how much I like washing my bike. I actually don't, obviously. And I'll give you an example. When I was on my last tour, here's the microphone. On my last tour, and the dog is going mad, in uh, 2019, I went away in the May, and I had a like week back here and four days here, and then, you know, back was a four. I did four tours from the Arctic right down to Croatia, did Croatia twice. Never wash your bike once. It was serviced three times in nine weeks, the 6,000 mile service intervals, you know, so. I was driving back up and I was in Germany with my thumb up my backside and my mind in neutral driving, just thinking about nothing. And I suddenly realised, I tried to work out when was the last time I washed my bike. And I realised this was in the October now and hadn't washed it since the February. But it rained a lot, you know, so the mud was not on there. Anyway, now I can wash it whenever I want. So the deal was, you buy these raffle tickets, they draw the thing, it's all live streamed and everything. And I won this muck off, muck off! Um, jet washer thing, it's got a gun. Look at that, it's got a gun. Don't fall off. You get this uh, motorcycle protector thing, protection spray for after you've washed it. You get a concentrate thing and you get uh, the actual cleanest stuff as, as well. And we'll go through that and you get a fantastic, what looks like a line on the floor there, I can't reach it. It looks like a Lomo bag. There it is. It my hand, my like assistant it. has handed it to me. It does look like a Lomo oh, bag. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> and those Lomo bags are the best bags in the business, aren't they? They are the dogs, apparently. Yeah, so, mark off. Mark off. <laughs> so anyway, so there you go. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to wash my bike and explain all the bits and pieces on it. Yeah. And for those who think that he was joking about not cleaning his bike ever, if you have bought his bike, it was it was really well cared for, washed all the time. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Gordon, please yeah. let me kneel in this water because this isn't the second take, honestly. <laughs> we're, one, we're one take wonders, what are you talking about? <laughs> right, what do you get? You get all these with it. You get... This is called a lance. This clips, if I explain, on the end of the gun like that. Okay, the yeah. gun. Then on the end of the gun, you've got these three things you can choose from. One is for a bicycle. Yeah. One is for a motorcycle. Yeah. And one is for muck off. Muck off. And they are all different nozzles. Ah, so they aren't just labelled for idiots that, you know, just three of the same thing. They are different. Well, obviously they're labelled for idiots, so else would I have understood it. <laughs> so, and they twist, but whether that does anything, we'll find out. Now, first of all, you also get this one. Oh, it's got a pipe on it, Mark. Oh, yeah. Now, the pipe goes in here, and this is what provides the foam. And there's a knob on the top. There's a knob holding it, but there's a knob <laughs> on the top. <laughs> OK. That goes in. Now, first time I did it, it didn't have that attached. So I just touched it on there and assumed it was going to do it by fairy power or something like that. So that has to go back on there. And it didn't work then? Oh, no. It did okay. when I shook it, but, you know. Anyway, so that goes with that. Now, for the motorcycle one, if we click it on the end there like that, that clicks in. It's plugged in by means of a five metre long electric cable. Five metre, you say? Five metres. The gun is attached by this five metre long, five's a funny old figure, isn't it? It is. Hose that goes in there, you press that in there like that, that goes in. It's very well designed. Omnidirectional. 
Ooh. Or rotatable, I think, not omnidirectional. So this goes in the front of the machine. Yeah. You press that across, that goes in. Very much like a car shed, but the car shed hasn't got all these lockable things, You're has right. it? And then, on the back, you've got the hose. That's a hose? That's a hose, and that plugs onto okay. a little connection there, like that. Just a standard garden hose connection. Yeah. Now, what you do then, is you fire it all up. First of all, you have to switch the water on. Oh my God. I'll be back, I'll be back. Bye. We'll just, we'll just look at the amount of dirt that Mark's got on his bike because it's an extremely dirty bike. And look, there's dirt. There's but, dirt everywhere all over his bike, but I'm going to focus on this dirt that is on his bike. <laughs> now, first thing you have to do is to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And you do that by just doing that. So that is just pressure of the hose going through the system. There's oh, no okay. I tell you what, that, co that will come in handy because if you haven't got a spray this time of year, reseeding lawns and you need just a nice spray to water the that's a brilliant tool <laughs> that's a tumbleweed going past it i'll do that again <laughs> sure we can edit that bit of wonderful knowledge out anyway so then you have to switch it on okay i haven't switched it on i'll go and switch it on the power okay okay He's got to go a long way for power. I think he's got to uh, get on the. I think he's got to get on the on the s on. bicycle and pedal away. So the dyno's I've got stopped. a bit of electric. I've got to stop first because I was running around there and I realised health and safety. I need to put my Crocs into off-road mode. Oh, off-road Crocs! And I tell you what, if there's anybody out there that says anything about Crocs, we are not your friend. They are amazing bits oh, of kit. Oh, we're going to get slagged for that. Anyway, they're in off-road mode. So, here we go. Purging all the air out, then we switch it on. Is that the, <coughs> that's the big dial on the front. The big dial, the O-N-O-F-F button. You'll hear it kicked in straight away. Yeah, it like squeaked. It squeaked. Well, what it does, it pressurizes itself, but it only works, some of these work all the time. You hear them rattling away. This only works when you use the actual, <coughs> there you go. So, I'm gonna moisten my bike. Uh, what, are you gonna have a moist bike here? <coughs> Oh look, oh, it's dirt. that good, that dirt has disappeared. So, I'll get it wet again, because this isn't take two. Good safety tip, it does tell you not to spray any closer than 36 inches. Okay, 36 inches for those who aren't, aren't sure is about that, isn't it? It's about a metre that, isn't it? I don't know, how, how long is 36 inches? Well, we've got to be very careful divulging sizes of things on camera haven't you all right because it could could ruin a whole lot of people's lives so a fair di that that is, how about we just say a fair distance that's from your bike cringy. that's a anyway there we go i tell you what mark what? for people that can't gauge 36 inches and if that's what they say on this machine that they shouldn't do, you would think a really good thing for them to do is on one of the lamps, mark 30, 38 or inches actually on it. And then you would know. Tip for muck off, muck off. Muck off. Right, there we are, right, bike wet. Bike wet. His bike is moist. We now remove this. I'm removing this. And what I'm gonna do, because when I did it before, it was, it was a bit of a nightmare. So with the tube attached, the tube goes in there. Vaguely sexual. <laughs> it's, not, it's not at all. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. He's getting all excited with this anyway, moist bike. Anyway, this goes on here. Look at that. I'll put it on the other way. Okay. Yeah. And then, we can use the foam part of the lance thing, gun thing, to uh, cover the bike in foam. So no lance goes on the end of that. That is it. That's Just the that. end. Just that. Okay. The end. Have you got it on max or minimum? It's on minimum at the moment. Okay. So let's try it on minimum, shall okay. we? Okay. He's so excited. 
It was at this moment that Mark realised he hadn't put muck off in there, he'd put white emulsion. I do like that sound. It sounds like a turbo, doesn't it? Like, you know, some boy racer. Yeah, it's, it. it's mild, mildly pleasant. Oh yeah. yeah that's all that does. Now, yeah. that's on minimum and it's used about a quarter of a bottle. Yeah. So on maximum, when I did it as a, as a trial before, it used nearly a full bottle. So yeah. There you go. But if your bike's really filthy, you're going to have to do that. And I suppose the good thing is, the thicker you put it on, the less viscosity that the stuff will have. So it will hang around the dirt longer and work on the dirt longer. If you put more water on it, no, it's the other way around. That'll be more viscous. Oh more word. loose, won't You're it? Not swearing at me there, and it'll just release all the dirt, won't it, and come off too quick. So that goes down over there. Betty the crazy dog is coming back over and putting the lance back on. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the motorcycle one off because we're not wetting it anymore. We're now getting okay. on to the muck off phase. Muck off. Okay. And that actually clicks in, doesn't it? It does. Like just that. like that. And now we, we would wait five minutes, so we'll go now a short time later. Yeah, a few moments later. <laughs> for all the uh, muck off stuff to uh, work its magic and clean our bike up. Yeah, because the first time in the ownership of any of the motorbike, motorcycles that I've known you have, this has been the cleanest of your bikes. Because <laughs> it's been watched three times now, <laughs> yeah. twice in this film. Anyway, here we go. Let's <laughs> start. Gotta love that sound. And now we're just washing the stuff off. The bike has not been this clean since I picked it up from the showroom. Do you know, he's that excited about this, this new tool that I might keep bringing my bike over for him to wash as well. <laughs> You're going to the Pyrenees? The Pyrenees, not the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees. An oldie. Nearly done. This. See, the one thing that I see from that lance and the pressure is a normal kasha, one that you would get for everyday use, the lance on the end of that makes the water, it seems to come out with an awful lot more pressure than this does. This seems to come out with enough pressure, but not too much. I think you're right. You might have to say that again. I thank you. The pressure isn't too much to uh, do damage, I think, but you need to keep it away. I guess that's what you get when you buy a, a Chinese knockoff seat cover, isn't it? Do you know, as I was doing that, I was thinking, I bet he says something about that. Yeah, it's a wonderful knockoff Chinese make. I'm not, I'm not proud, clearly. <laughs> Look at me, I'm in my pirate pants. <laughs> pirate pants. <laughs> There we go. So there's no way that you, sh you shouldn't really put that lance right up close to your TFT or any electrical stuff or your s no, sound all very bomb. and all very close to seals or anything that's exposed. Like anything like that. So on a, on a shaft drive bike, you don't want to put it on the seals that cover the shaft and all that. So Because that would be bad for you. Yeah. But I reckon that's my bike. What about your chain? Would you hose your chain off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, he never used to like chains. Now he's battering them. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's all right on a chain. Well, yeah. you don't want the crud from a chain to go all over your bike, dear, so that's another job you'd have to do. But anyway, what do you reckon? Well, is that it? What do you want me to do now? Well, I want you to get the hairdryer out and dry it like a proper biker would. Like I own a hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pictures of you hair. You were scary. <laughs> so, yeah, you'd probably have to wipe it down now if you really cared. Yeah, um, see, so, you know, the thing is with um, cleaning bikes, 
is that there's an awful lot of people that will do lots of different things. Some people will have it in a dry room. They'll suck the moisture out of the room. I know, I know. But lots of people enjoy that sort of stuff. Yeah. And the good thing about cleaning your bike is it's not just about making it look nice, is it? No. It's about seeing if there's any damage, are the tyres are okay, is there any oil leaks? It's any... making me worry now. Well, it's true, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. It's clean though, isn't it? It's never been that clean. It is quite clean. I'm quite envious. <laughs> what a good little kit. There you go. Muck off. Muck off. Muck off jet washer. One from Apex 66. Cheers, fellas. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. I'm sure there'll be loads of comments because we're a pair of just made ourselves look really stupid. But um... Well, you're in front of the camera and I'm not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Anyway, so... All comments, don't, nothing to do with health and safety. You know, we have got our safety crocs on, eventually. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Make some comments, there'll be uh, alert buttons and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see you soon.